Welcome back to another video from your friends here at Altitude University. I'm David, and today we are going to talk about preventive maintenance and repairs every drone pilot should be aware of. Stick around, and together, we'll make sure your drones remain airborne. Before we begin, please hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue providing you with more drone-related content. Whether you already have your Part 107 and are flying professionally, or you are a hobbyist flying for fun, keeping your drones functional and safe is just as important as knowing how to fly them. Regular repairs and preventive maintenance not only extend the lifespan of a drone, but also ensure safe and efficient operations. For the average commercial drone pilot, understanding and performing basic maintenance tasks can prevent minor issues from escalating into major problems. Before we get into our recommendations, a quick note about warranties. Some preventive maintenance and repairs may affect the warranty of your drone. Before doing anything, read up on the specifics of any warranty or insurance coverage you have. You never want to do anything to your drone that can void these coverages. Without further delay, here are our recommendations for what you should do to keep your drone in tip-top shape. Number one, propeller inspection and replacement. Propellers or props are vital for flight stability and performance. Unbalanced propellers can lead to inefficient flight and increased motor wear. You should do the following three things to ensure the propellers are working properly. First, inspect regularly. Before and after each flight, visually inspect the propellers for cracks, chips, and other signs of wear. Even small imperfections can affect performance. Next, check balance. An unbalanced propeller can cause vibrations that negatively impact the drone's stability and video quality. Use a propeller balancer to check and correct any imbalances. Finally, replacement needed. If any damage is found, replace the propeller immediately. You should keep a set of spare propellers in your kit at all times. Propellers are relatively inexpensive, so there's no excuse not to have them. Number two, battery care and management. Batteries are a critical component of drone operation. Proper care ensures longer flight times and prevents mid-air failures or in-flight fires. We recommend four actions when caring for batteries. Start by inspecting for damage. Regularly check the battery for any signs of swelling, leakage, or physical damage. Next, ensure proper charging. Use the manufacturer's charger and follow the recommended charging procedures. Avoid overcharging or fully depleting the battery. Third is storage. Store the batteries in a cool, dry place with about a 50% charge if not used for extended periods of time. Finally, cycle the batteries. Regularly cycle the batteries by fully charging and then discharging them to around 20% to maintain their health. It's also a good idea to keep a log of your battery performance. Numbering your batteries will help with record keeping. Number three, cleaning the camera and gimbal. Clear and stable imagery is essential for most commercial drone operations. Dirt, dust, and debris can degrade the quality of the footage. Here are three recommendations for the camera and gimbal. First is lens cleaning. Use a microfiber cloth and appropriate lens cleaning solution to gently clean the lens before and after each flight. For gimbal maintenance, check the gimbal for dust or debris and clean it using a soft brush or compressed air. Ensure the gimbal's range of motion is unobstructive and operates smoothly. Be very careful when handling the gimbal. Finally, we have firmware updates. Regularly update the camera and gimbal firmware if applicable to ensure optimal performance and compatibility with other systems. Number four, the motor and electronic speed control or ESC maintenance. Motors and ESCs are the powerhouse of your drone. Their smooth operation is essential for flight efficiency and safety. We have three non-invasive tips when it comes to motors. Start with motor inspection. After every flight, inspect the motors for any signs of dirt or debris or physical damage. Clean them with a soft brush or compressed air if necessary. Next is ESC monitoring. Ensure the ESCs are functioning correctly by observing the drone's behavior during flight. Any unusual noises or vibrations may indicate an issue. Third is a bearing check. Listen for unusual sounds that might indicate worn out bearings, which would require a replacement. If the motor doesn't sound smooth, you may have a bearing issue. Number five, airframe and structural integrity. The airframe supports all of the drone's components. Structural integrity ensures that the drone can withstand the stresses of flight. First is a visual inspection. Regularly check the drone's body for cracks, loose screws, or any signs of wear and tear. Pay special attention to the landing gear and arms. 
Next is tightening screws. Periodically check and tighten all screws and fasteners. Vibrations during flight can cause them to loosen over time. You can use a toolkit like the yellow one here made by Florian to adjust screws. Finally, repair or replace. If you find any significant damage or structural weakness, repair or replace the affected parts promptly. If you haven't been trained on how to do this, make sure you discuss it with an expert first. Number six, firmware and software updates. Firmware and software updates often include critical improvements, bug fixes, and new features that enhance the drone's performance and safety. This preventive maintenance is often overlooked, but is one of the easiest to fix. Regularly check the drone manufacturer's website or app for firmware and software updates. Many drones will tell you there is an update when you power them on. If you get a notice that updates are available, take the time to install them before you fly. Follow the manufacturer's instructions to install the updates. You'll want to make sure the drone and its remote control are fully charged before starting the process. That brings us to our final recommendation, number seven, sending the drone out for professional repairs. Despite regular maintenance, some issues are beyond the scope of basic repairs and require professional attention. If the drone has been involved in a significant crash or shows extensive physical damage, it should be sent to a professional repair service. Problems with the drone's internal electronics, such as the flight controller or GPS module, often require specialized equipment and expertise to diagnose and fix. If your drone is still under warranty, any repairs might need to be conducted by an authorized service center to maintain the warranty coverage. I've personally used DJI's repair service several times in my career and have always been pleased with the service and the price. If you are ever in doubt about what needs to be done for your drone, or if you don't know how to do the specific repair, it's best to have an expert take care of your drone. Regular maintenance and timely repairs are essential for the safe and efficient operation of drones. By routinely inspecting and caring for components like propellers, batteries, cameras, gimbals, motors, and the airframe, pilots can prevent small issues from turning into big problems. Don't forget to keep the software and firmware up to date. This will ensure optimal performance as well. When problems exceed basic troubleshooting and repairs, seeking professional help is important. This proactive approach not only enhances the drone's lifespan, but also ensures reliability, safety, and quality in all commercial drone operations. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.